Roll to 505. Let's go, baby. Raha! Cheers, boy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Road to 505 Kilograms. Gonna set myself a wee goal for the end of this month. It's the start of November. I'm gonna give myself four weeks to hit 300 for reps. That's my goal this month, 300 for reps belt list. And then we'll come back and see if we've hit the target or we failed the target. I am starting on today at 250, five sets of three. If that feels light, I can go up in 10Ks. If it feels moderate, I'll just stay it that way. So we're gonna find out, but the first set's gonna be 250, and then we're gonna see after that how it feels. So. to breathe when you've got a cold eh? I find that's the second set of it. I'm staying at it uh, this week, so I'm gonna do all five sets at 250. So it'll be 15 reps, no belt, no suit. That looks feeling good, mate. Feel okay. Yeah, uh, yeah feel good. Just good to all the boys, Tom and Harry, myself for training tape or something like that. Um, and really push it, so. It's good, that's my the deficits and then conventional, so that's we done. So now I'm on to pendleros. So we'll see that. That's the first week, mate. Oh uh, yeah, so, as you can hear, I'm breathing out my lungs, but got a bit of a blocked nose. That's nice. It's uh, five sets of 3250, no belt, no suit, nothing. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Like I said, 2024 is when I'm gonna pull it. So, a nice first week to start. It was a strange one, because he just came out with it. I think we were doing a video on the, on this couch, actually, and I was like, I want to do the 505 deadlift world record but I, I i never doubt tom's ability and stuff you know so for tom to say that he's going to do something i think that's the biggest challenge for him so once he said something i.e gonna be world's strongest man gonna do the 505 deadlift that's the hardest part and then getting there i think for tom is is probably easier than actually saying it after tom said that you know he's made that big statement he's put it out there i don't know if it's a conscious thing or a subconscious thing but he certainly has more intensity when he's deadlifting. I think Tom's one of the best deadlifters um, out there. You know, when he when he's back on form, when he's back at full strength. There's not many people that are, are kind of beating Tom. So yeah, it certainly seems to be a more aggressive Tom when he's training um, deadlifts. And he's got that plan set out now. So he's given himself till 2024 to do it. I think the, the sessions will get more intense, yeah, a lot harder as, as we go on, obviously. But... I think it's well within his capabilities to do that. Tommy, what are we doing today? Right, so today is the final episode of the 300 kilogram on the road to the 505. Uh, I said the goal at the start that I was wanting to hit 300 kilograms, and today is the day. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Doesn't sound a lot, but it's uh, going to be my heaviest for a while. Yeah, I feel confident. Um, I think it's just meant to be two reps or 300 today, so 
No belt, after I get past 300 I will start putting the belt on when I come back from holiday So right now there's no belt either So um, yeah, I feel good, let's go and do it Two reps of 300 Sounds easy, didn't it? Yeah, it is easy Get off So it is deadlift day today as usual But it's a very, very sad day Because it's Luke's birthday He's nearly 50 years old positive is he's out in America but I'm stuck here in the gym all alone and also What's this now, brother? 270. 270. This is my last warm up set, so after this, pull this for a single and then just grin and bait it for two reps of 300. Smooth. 270, let's go. Let's go. 300. I don't know why. I decided to do this bar when I'm going 300. I've been using the uh, more flex feet than left bar, but yeah, it means it's good because it's not, it doesn't flex as, flex as much, so it's harder. So it must mean I'm getting stronger, which is a bonus. So put another 15 on and it'll be 300. <coughs> See when you go for big, uh, big weights or big reps or a bit. You do, you can, you, you want, you want him to do you so much you could do anything so when you go for a big lift uh what's your mindset or what do you think about before the lift yeah it's just to kind of rip it off or one of my family members or Sinead will die boy that escalated quickly you need to think about dark places and that's the only way you're going to do it right say for example there's 400 350 on the barn i was meant to do 10 reps that's when i'd then go right Shades under there. If I don't bear it out, she's dead. And then you kind of like, right, that helps you motivate yourself even more. You know, as soon as you put the bar, bar down on the 10th rep, your mindset then switches to positive, you know, the positive kind of stuff, and you leave that behind. And then when you go back into your next set, you then tune into that again. And I think that's why I'm better when I compete because I can switch my mindset for a minute, a really dark place, and then go straight back out of it and start having fun with people, as a lot of people see, you know, when I'm competing at Worlds or these comps. Before I go out, I'm so few focused, but afterwards I'm chilling out, you know, bouncing up and down, g getting photos of people. So that's important to be able to do that balance on mindset. So. Is, that, uh, is that how you were thinking when you did the Atlas Stone World Record? Yeah, it was basically like saying, oh, she's there, or you have to keep doing different family members as well. So like each five stones is a different family member and you do it that way. Obviously the first few are easy, so you know that they're going to be safe and you're going to rip them off, rip the stones off them so, so fast. But then that's the mindset you have for the first two should be the mindset you have for all of them. Like these are easy, these are just stones. There's people under there, if I, if I don't lift it, they're dead. So you could either be a save, savior or basically be a murderer. You could drop it back on them. So that's kind of the mindset you get. And that's why I think I get so fast on stones and that because I don't think about it. I don't go, oh, this is heavy. I just go to somebody under their bang, you know? Is that actually what you think about? Hello. No, next time it'll be a, I'll, 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 I'll try and How save How do you feel a, about hearing that? I'll try and save a cow. I'll be a bit sick, actually. That was really good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a double, brother. Double, 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 That was good. Oh, <laughs> shit, I'm almost there. Goal achieved. On to next month, eh?
yeah, like I said, go complete. Very hit goals. I know that's only 300 kg, but I've uh, set out and done it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try another set, and then I'm gonna do some accessory work. For one more. One more, one more. Two time Tommy. <laughs> Three time Tommy. What made you go for one more, bro? The first rep felt nice and steady, so then I was able to. The second one I pulled, I was like, whoa, that was easy, so I just did another, another rep. Um, I think I could have got maybe four or five, so it's quite a bonus to hit my goal but still have more left because when I came in today, I thought. You know, I've been travelling a few the last few days and thought that I might hit one at 300 and I was even scared of not going to even hit 300 so, so it's just completely raw obviously except the grip so yeah, I'm very happy with that and like I said it's ticked off the list on two accessories First exercise I did for accessories was our Romanian deadlifts This helps with your deadlift, this improves your overall power on deadlifts it hits the posterior chain and it just makes your back nice and strong Next we did box jumps, box jumps I do a lot of it's good for explosive power from the floor it's just good for fast twitch fiber muscles and just helps with the explosiveness of your deadlifts Lastly we have lat pull down which is in the name it works your lats it gives you a big massive pump and i love doing this at the end of a workout to get those lats nice and pumpy for any more tips tricks and spiciness visit www.stopmanstrengthacademy.com accessories done <laughs> that is the return to the 505 deadlift first month first episode completed very good hit my goals very happy with how I've been training the last few weeks so onwards and upwards from here if you liked the video give it a like comment subscribe show us some love give us some feedback this is going to be the format of our videos going forward we're going to do four core videos a month which are going to come out every Sunday the first one's 505 and it's going to be road to 230k log going to be becoming a strong man with Harry and it's going to be road to Arnold's is the first one, so we'll be doing road to Arnold's. We'll maybe do some extra content here and there, um, collabs or if we're going anywhere ex exciting. But you'll get four core videos a month, so stay tuned for that and keep your eyes peeled. Stay spicy, smile, stay safe, all the good things. Love you guys.